Hello everyone, my name is Ryan and I'm coming back from the DL Academy for another video tutorial series. So in this uh, video tutorial series, we're going to be making a Sudoku solver using a backtracking algorithm. So for that, we're going to be using Python. Uh, and if you don't know Python, make sure you go check it out in our Udemy course. You can go to our website, thedlacademy.com and it will direct you to the Udemy course. Make sure you use the link in the website to get 50% off for our course uh, where you'll learn Python for beginners. We teach everything you need to know to become a advanced, to become an advanced Python developers in absolutely no time. So go check it out, uh, learn Python, and then come and follow this Sudoku tutorial series. So, if you don't know what Sudoku is, let me just show you. Let's make a Sudoku game online. Let's go online and look for uh, Sudokus. Here's the website. All right. So this is pretty much what a Sudoku looks like. You have a nine by nine array with a bunch of numbers in them. All right. And then the goal is to have all the numbers from one to nine in each row. So each row has to have all the numbers from one to nine. Each column has to have every number from one to nine. And each three by three square, if you can see, this is a three by three right here. And this is another three by three and another three by three. So you have nine of them. And all of these have to have every number from one to nine. So what we're gonna be doing is a program that can solve this Sudoku for us in a matter of seconds. So, uh, make sure you have Python installed. If you don't know how to do it, uh, we explain everything in our tutorial right there. And we'll be using uh, PyCharm uh, this time, which is a an IDE for Python. You can type in PyCharm download uh, on your uh, on your browser, and it will um, direct uh, and it will direct you to the correct links. All right, so you, we can get started right away. Uh, let's not waste any more time. Let's go. Open your PyCharm and create a new project. We'll call it Sudoku, Sudoku Solver, Solver right here. Uh, wait, wait. Let's create the new. Uh, let's call it Sudoku Solver. Uh, and then here, um, everything is set correctly. Let's open in a new window and let the ID create the source files and the. The code for us so this will take a couple of seconds all right uh, all right so now uh, just go here on the top left where you see the folder with uh, the name that we um, gave it which is Sudoku Solver right click new and Python file let's call it main uh, for this project we'll only be using uh, one main file we're not going to be using classes because otherwise with this would get too complicated and this is already a complicated uh, program to do. So let's just not make it even more complicated. All right, so let me just explain um, the algorithm first before getting into the code. Let me open, let's say paint. All right, so this is good enough of an example. Uh, let's say we have our nine by nine uh, Sudoku right here. This is our grid, uh, if you can see. And then we'll have numbers. Um, let me just go on the website and copy some of the numbers. Three, seven, one, all right. So, um, wait, where is it? All right, we'll have, we'll have a three here. We'll have a seven here, a one, and here we'll have a one, a six, a nine, two a five uh, let's say we here we have a two a six uh, the six is here six four all right okay let's say this is our sudoku so basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating uh we're going to be using recursion all right so um we're gonna be creating a basic list, all right? So we'll call it the base list, all right? And this base list will have all the possible answers for each position. 
So let's say here we're at position. Uh, um, so let's say here, this this will be position zero, comma, one. All right, because um, in the left, so the first index will be uh, the i and the second will be the j. All right, so we'll be be saying i, comma j. All right. I is when we move along the rows and J is when we move along the column. So we say, let's say uh, here we have I, comma, J, all right? So I is when we move along the rows and J is when we move along the columns. All right. So when we move this way, J increases and when we move down, uh, I increases. All right. Uh, this is basically how arrays, I explain everything in the Python course for beginners. So if you don't understand anything, make sure you go check it out and then come back here. All right. So as I was explaining, we'll, we'll be making our base list so we're going to be saying that the base list is going to be equal uh, and then first we're going to be creating a list of lists all right no. so it's going to be equal to we want all the possible answers for these positions so let's say here along this row we have a one we have a seven we have a three so we cannot have one seven or three Along this column, we have a one, so we cannot have one. And inside this three by three uh, square, look at this. This is a three by three square. Inside, we have a three, a seven, a six, a one, and a two. So we cannot have a one, we cannot have a two, we cannot have a three, we can't have a four. So let's write in four. We can't have a five because there's no five. We can't have a six because there's six right here. We can't have a seven, but we can't have an eight. Here's an eight and uh, we can have a nine. So there we go. We just, so we need a function that gets, gets us all the possible answers for a specific position. And then uh, we're going to be going, for example, in, in a linear fashion. So we're going to be going from left to right and up uh, top to bottom we're gonna be going here we get all the possible answers and then we put in the first one so we put a four all right and then we keep going here at this stage right here we skip this one because there's a number we skip this one because there's a number we get to this uh, case right here we get to this box right here this one this one and then we do the same thing we keep uh, we take in consideration that there is a four, and we get all the possible answers. So for this one, the array will simply be equal to five, eight, and nine, right? But there's also going to be a six. So five, six, eight, but there's no nine because we have a nine right here in this case. So this is going to be the second base or a second array. This is going to be array number two. This is going to be array number one. No, wait, let me erase this right here. Where's the eraser? There's the eraser. We'll be calling them base arrays, all right? So these, these are simple arrays or base arrays, whatever the name you want to give it. So array one, and then here we'll have array two, array two right there equals and then we'll keep going until we reach a certain point where there is no possibility. So basically an array is going to be equal to a null array. So there's going to be no possible answers for a specific point. When we reach that point, all we have to do is go back. And then if, the, uh, for example, the array before it, let's say this, uh, we are here. Let's say we're at this position right here. Um, 
let's say we're at this position, all right? You see this position right here? And at this point, we have a null array. We want to go to the array before it. And instead of, um, so here, let's say we had a five, we put a five, all right? And then here we have no, let's say we have no possible answers. So we want to go to the five and instead of picking up five, we'll put in a six, all right? So we'll simply move back or backtrack. And instead of putting a five, we'll put a six, all right? And then here uh, we'll have new possibilities. So we'll keep going forward, forward until we block again. We have a null array. We keep moving back. We move back, we move back. Let's say we move back and here, there's only a six that's possible. We move back even more to the previous um, case that was empty. So not the one, not the seven, because uh, these are predefined numbers. So we have to skip those. And then we go to the four and we change it. This way we can test all the possible solutions until we get the right one. So this is, for, uh, this is it for today's video. Uh, in the next video, we're actually gonna be starting to code the Sudoku solver.